What's up guys? Welcome back to Keto Rewind. I am Jess and today is a fun daily vlog style video where I'm going to make a really yummy recipe, going to get a workout in and then some fun stuff sprinkled in between. Now, <laughs> as you know, I just turned 40 and one of the <laughs> One of the reasons you can claim you're old now is because for my 40th birthday, do you know what I asked for? I asked for a new kitchen sink. <laughs> oh my God, let me show you. So I absolutely hated the sink I had before this. Now let me pull this all out of the way so you can see what I got going on here. The main reason is this is a single sink with just one drain. I couldn't stand the one that had the divider in between, two different depths, and I, I just couldn't stand the grout line that was between the granite and the sink. So I was, I, when my husband asked me what I wanted for my birthday, I was like, a new sink. <laughs> and mind you, he's like, okay. So, but it was, it did involve having to cut granite because this hole is a lot bigger than the sink that was here before. Um, it's a standard 36 inch uh, sink cabinet and it has just the single drain. <laughs> so the other cool part about this sink, and mind you, this is not sponsored. This is, I literally went to our local Home Depot or our home improvement store to buy this. Um, I had the drain already for my last sink in the soap dispenser, um, but this is an awesome drying rack. I use this all the time in my other sink, um, which was a, uh, just one of these random racks that you get off of Amazon that you can throw in the dishwasher. Um, but this one has one that's fitted in the sink, so I have an extra now. Um, and, but the other main part of this is for all the dicing and chopping. This cutting board fits in the inlay, has a hole to drop down into the garbage disposal below, or, you know, this way, or, you know, you could move it, whatever you want. Dice, dice, dice. Toss, dice, 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 toss. Also for like cleaning off vegetables and stuff, we can let them dry out. So needless to say, <laughs> I wanted a new sink for my birthday <laughs> and I am super happy. So um, you're gonna see that a lot in the videos coming up, but it seriously makes a difference already how much easier and how much more sense that particular sink makes for us and all the dicing and chopping and the meal prepping and stuff um, and not having to deal with the weird divider in between the sinks for double sink and I, it, the, the options are limit, unlimited now. So anyways, I think next I am going to go get a workout in. I just finished filming my week 186 video. So this is going to come out like I think Thursday. <laughs> so I just finished filming that video and I haven't got my workout in yet. So I'm going to head out to the garage and I'm going to go get the um, workout done. And then it is such a busy day today. So we're going to meal prep next dinner for tonight. And I'll explain all of that when I come back. So as I'm sitting here preparing my bottle of water and electrolytes, I noticed I've got one last <laughs> electrolyte. So before I get into this video, I just want to thank Element for sponsoring this video. Uh, these are my go-to electrolytes, especially right now where I am sweating a lot. And I'm going to be having a lot of workouts where I'm outdoors and just moving my body. I sip on electrolytes uh, to get the job done. So these electrolytes are a science back ratio of electrolytes. So you're getting a thousand milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. No gluten, no sugar, no artificial flavors, no fillers, just that delicious taste that's perfect for those of us on the ketogenic and low carb lifestyle, or just live an active lifestyle. These aren't only for us that are low carb. <laughs> if you like, if you sweat a lot, you need electrolytes too. But as I was saying, I'm out of my raspberry salt. This is one of my favorite flavors. I also love the watermelon salt. Those are my top two, with a close third being the citrus salt. But don't take my word for it, you can get a free sample pack of eight unique flavors. This way you can figure out which one is your favorite using my special link down below. That's drinkelement.com forward slash keto rewind. That's drinklmnt.com forward slash keto rewind. 
This promo is only available through my special link. Use it as many times as you want. So it is now time to put a cover on my electrolytes here. I like to put one package in with 32 ounces of water and I'll sip on this throughout my whole workout. Anyways, thanks to Element for sponsoring this video. Now, stop stalling Jess, get out and get the workout. back on and now it's time to make dinner before I go get my kids from school while well, I have about an hour left. <laughs> so I'm going to be making another chicken bowl. Um, I will show you real quick how I made the chicken marinated in Greek yogurt, extra protein, full of flavor, tenderized, just deliciousness. So um, my main vegetable is going to be real easy. <laughs> this is a medley of um, Brussels sprouts, mushrooms, red peppers, um, green peppers, bread onions, um, pink salt, and roasted. And that just adds a layer of flavor like no other. Um, and then instead of using like a yogurt dill dressing um, that I did on my last video, I made a Greek dressing, like a Greek vinaigrette. Um, super easy to make, delicious, full of flavor. And, um, and then I also have some rice cauliflower here that I'm going to just put in the microwave, um, steam it, and it'll just build, I'll build this, um, all, this bowl all together. So right now, I'm gonna throw the chicken on the grill while this is steaming, and then I'm gonna put this in the pan and bring it all together, and that's how easy it is. I'm gonna probably make a couple days worth of meals, <laughs> but probably for tomorrow too, and yeah, be ahead of the game. I'll be back.
Okay, so when I make my plate, I have Greek dressing. That's gonna be like my, I have to shake that. Um, that's gonna be like the topping. I have pickled onions, I have feta cheese, optional. Um, I'm not a huge feta fan, but I like a little bit on there. And then I found some store-bought tzatziki. I'm gonna try and find some recipes on how to make that. It's basically like a yogurt and cucumber um, flavoring. So that is the toppings, and then I will come back and show you the finished product. Here's the finished product. I have the grilled chicken. I have the bed of riced cauliflower at the bottom, all those roasted vegetables layered next, then the pickled onions, and then I'm gonna top it with the Greek vinaigrette and tzatziki. Bon appetit. Okay, dinner is done. It was delicious, and I have enough for tomorrow's dinner as well because we have another busy day tomorrow. Um, we are off to the ballpark. <laughs> my, daughter, my oldest daughter is going to have a game tonight, and she's pitching for the first time. Um, we've moved up to 10U, so this is going to be kid pitch and exciting stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out all the recipe links down below. Have a good one. See you at the next one. There you go. Big. Like that. Oh, nice. Big. Big. Let's go. One more. One more. Just like that. You got this move.